Hi guys, welcome back to my video and my channel. My, if you're new here, my name is Anna. If you're not new here, welcome back. Thanks for returning and welcome to Pass or Fail, but Special Needs Edition. So welcome to my journey and I'm going to take you along. It's going to be like little clips of you know um of everything and I'll take you along with this timeline of trying to learn how or how to adapt things for me. Whew, that was a mouthful. So with that being said let's get into this video. First test will be if I can get my um, brushes into my the brush holder because currently what we do is put them on the side of the little side containers but I would like to have them up where they actually do belong. I'm not saying that anything is wrong with that. I'm just, I wanna see if this works or not. So, you guys are gonna go along with me. I'm gonna try and do it with the dual then. That one did it look so much. Okay. I hope the rest. Okay, I'm just gonna put them in there and then I can see them. I don't know. Hold it up. Can we run the bristle? Yes! Okay, success! That is a successful journey. That is a success. Oh, you guys, this is awesome. Um, this is from my... Uh, yeah, mate. This is also from a makeup train case, but this can also be the attached or like. So I was thinking, I'll have my mom or Maddie or whoever helped me take this off ahead of time. And that way the brushes are all right there. So, thank you and. So far, this this test is a success. Okay, so right now this is our right now this is the current setup, and right now what we're what I'm going to try to do is try to figure out how I can apply the brush. The brush, 
the blush independently. Either with a beauty blender or in the original um, classic blush brush. I'm gonna just do one cheek and then another cheek. I will try to do it the regular way. You can't really tell what, how much product is on here because of the color, which that's easy to change if this actually works. So, I don't know how I feel about this one. So now to the original, or what is this, not the OG, the, the classic brush way of doing stuff. We're going to try this this way. Wait, let me look for my cheekbone. This is what I have to do every day. Yeah. This is much faster. That's too high on the... Yeah. There we go. No. I actually think the, the beauty blender got a little bit more on. Product wise? Yeah. But if you want a, like user... a lighter, lighter look, then maybe the brush. Yeah. And it could be a user error too. And Yeah. Like, it could be like my positioning of holding it, you know? It's definitely much faster in like the classic brush way. I think practice, if you practice with, um, obviously practice will make perfect. And um, I don't know, both have um, pros and cons. Like you can get more product done with the the beauty blender, but whatever. So I guess practice makes perfect, and you'll fig you'll figure out which one works for you. Okay, guys. So now we're gonna try to do a headband so that hopefully I can be more independent with my hair one of these days. Well, hold on, I have to take it, I, yeah, I have to take it out because my bun is not. Okay, got it over my head. Please don't worry. Look at this. No. Well, it kind of worked. It's not cute. I think it is cute, actually. But, like, this is what I was thinking of. So you just had it down, but then you just need to, like... I guess my dad could do that part. Yeah, pull it out, and then you can yeah. always pull it up. See, that's what I wanted. That's cute. That's what I wanted. Yeah, I like that. But I like the... The way I had it originally. Success by have practice. Which that could be like a 
So maybe. So what I want to do guys is not hit the pipe, the pipes are right there and well, sometimes I will do this or sometimes I will leave it. So um, this time because of the angle that I went in, I will just remove the angle and then make sure I'm not hitting any pipes because it's my that would not be good if I would hit it and then explode it. Okay, I think that's good enough. I think I got all the stuff. Ugh. The only thing I would do different, um, next square, and you guys will see this on my other, in my downstairs basement, or in my downstairs, is put it on the side. Um, so that it's easier for put the faucet on the side so that um, I can easily tr have an easier time of turning it on and often adjusting the temperature. So guys, my one eye camera, but we'll have to deal with it for now. But I am going to take off my makeup. I don't know if first thing first is my mom set this up for me. And this is um, just I I make a remover on a hand swab. Um, so let me do that. It literally took me five or like fifteen minutes to give my real truth fix or fixated situated. Oh my god. And Oh guys, I'll link I'll link this in the cards. Uh, this is what we what I have been using. Sorry, but I'll link this in the um, description. Thanks for very nice. Super neat. Super neat. Oh, there you go. This is the best. That 
next thing is fourth cup and one of of readers the dish that I use. This is a dish that we put um my cleanser on. Cleanser on thank you mom. And this is actually a candle. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> it is it's a candle. Uh, okay, no, I'm sorry, I'm jumping because I'm all that. Uh, ah, it's CP. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so, yeah, so, anything like that you guys can use around your house. It's not that expensive. They also have, like, plastic ones on eBay, like, for makeup. Oh, okay. Apparently, they have pla plastic ones on eBay for makeup. So, well, like, practice it makes perfect. It does. So, like, you gotta... It does. That, that thing, I forgot how good this thing that is. That really works nice, doesn't it? And it, exfoli good. it exfoliates. Yeah, and it, like, I was like, huh, this feels good. <laughs> Facial brushes. I forgot well. about that. Yeah, guys, my mom got this for Christmas for me. And I forgot about it, to be honest. <laughs> so, yes. So with that, I will see you in the, see you in the next clip. In the next clip.